Hi guys, welcome back to another week of Virtual Club. This week's theme is DIY. DIY means do it yourself. So I'm gonna teach you a couple things that you can do yourself while at home. So the first thing we're gonna be making is something that I know most, if not all of you guys love. That is slime. Here are our needed ingredients. We need shaving foam, glue, borax, and food coloring. First, I'm gonna add my glue in. And you'll see I'm not adding too much because I don't want a lot of slime. When you add the, sh the shaving foam, it doubles the size of it, so you don't need too much of either. Then I add my shaving foam. I mix it together and it'll look like this. Now I'm gonna add some borax. That is the activator. If you don't have borax, you can use um, saline solution. Once you start mixing it, it should start to form and stick together. And then right before this, I added my um, food coloring. I added pink because that is my favorite color. But you can add whatever color you would like. You can add multiple colors. It's really up to you. But there you have it. You made fluffy slime in about five minutes. So not too bad. Our second DIY project is a bird feeder. Quick, simple, easy. Let's get into it. You need um, a glue gun and glue sticks, or you can use tape or any glue you have in your home string or you can use um, shoelaces or yarn a plastic bottle some seed an orange straws or sticks scissors and a box and take your scissors you're gonna get your box and you're going to cut these little panels off all right so now you cut out two large panels and one small one and we're gonna going to be gluing them together and then poking some holes in them. Okay, so I'm taping mine like this. You can add more tape if you'd like it to be a little bit more sturdy, but then you're gonna place your large rectangle panel on top and press. All right, test it. Not falling apart, it's good. Okay, so now we're gonna make our marks for our holes so we're gonna grab a color any color you'd like doesn't really matter okay so our X's are marking the spot where we need to poke a hole through when you're doing this make sure you're being extra careful ask an adult for help and make sure you go all the way through both in all three cardboards so you want to hold your board like this Press the, the scissor on the X and twist a little bit and just keep twisting until it goes through. Watch for your fingers. So now it's through. So I'm going to do that one, two, three, four, five, six more times. All right, we have successfully poked all of our holes in our cardboard. Again, I'm going to say it, be extra careful when you're doing this part. Make sure you have an adult with you. So now our next step is we're going to take our straws or our sticks and we're going to fit them into um, our poked holes. Boom, did it, done it. Should look something like this. Okay, now this part is optional. So you're gonna remove the straws and you're going to decorate your bird feeder. You can make it say whatever you'd like. You can color it any color you like. So I decorated my bird feeder a little bit. The back, I think I'm just gonna leave plain and Let's get into the next part of our bird feeder. So you're gonna take your water bottle, bend it just a little bit, and with your scissors, you're gonna cut it, you're gonna clip it. Okay, now it's clipped. You're gonna put your scissors through there and cut all the way around. Have a little bit of water left in there, so it's filling, but it's okay. Okay, it's off. So if we're looking at it, we need to make a hole wherever there is a hole on the cardboard. So we're gonna need a feeder hole right here, 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 and on this side over here. Okay, and we're gonna make a hole straight through here so that 
our bottle will be having something to hold on to. Right now I'm just marking where I need to make cuts. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, let's get to cutting. All right, so here I'm gonna make my first cut here. Again, bend it. Flip. Turn it around. I need my cut here. Bend it. Flip it. So, so down here. Basically, you just have to cut wherever we made our marks. Clip. Over here. So we're just gonna go in and make those cuts that we made a little bit bigger. You want them to be just a little bit bigger than um, the seed. And we're doing this so that the bird can actually get this, the food out. Now it's time to attach the bottle and the straw or your stick. It's gonna look something like this. All right, I hot glued my bottle to my cardboard. If you have hot glue, you can do this and I'm going to say it again. Use an adult. Next, I'm hot gluing my straw so that it can stay in place. I'm going to go on this side. Just light glue. All right, take the bottom of your bottle and you're going to put it on top. And then you're going to tape it so that no bird seed falls out. All right, I got a little bit in there. I'm going to fill it up. You got it. After you have cut your orange in half, you want to poke a hole through it. Your orange is hung. And now you're going to add your sticks or your straws. And these will act as like little benches for the birds. They're called perches. Now you have your bird feeder hanging. I just stuck it with the pin. Super easy. Very sturdy. And you want to remove this. And the birds can come and get their food. Good job, guys. I forgot to mention this, but use those two holes at the top for your string so that you can hang your bird feeder. All right, guys, that was all I have for you. I hope you enjoy your DIY projects. Make sure to check out other DIY projects in the virtual clubhouse, and we will see you guys next week.